called me to to get this business started. He he said, you know what? We need to pick up. I have some an drinks. idea. I have an idea. So we found this guy. We thought he would encourage us to come up with some good ideas, and, and I think he did. I was in e-commerce and saw an opportunity for apps, and then partnered up the four of us. Steph on the end there is a designer by trade. Eric and Ivan are both developers. And this is Jay. And I'm Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So Bold is a, an e-commerce company. We specialize primarily in apps, but we also do e-commerce solutions for small mom and pa e-commerce stores, all the way up to Fortune 500 companies like Time Life, Surf to Slay. But it's all centered around e-commerce in one way or another. Shopify is an e-commerce platform. Anybody can go on Shopify, essentially just right click and say start a new store, punch in their information and they've got a hosted online store in under a day. So if someone just joins Shopify, it's really easy to get started. You don't need any of the apps, you can just sell. Or there's thousands of apps and there's 35,000 Shopify partners doing development for it that you can go to and get the custom work done because of that API. We actually did something different than Shopify expected us to do too with the API. They thought all the API hits should happen in the admin, the back part of the store. They never expected it to happen in the front end, so the actual customer of the client would be hitting our apps. We went more in the direction of how do we help the store owner make money. The first app we released was an upsell app. It's kind of the classic concept of you're buying a pair of shoes and the guy at the cashier says, would you like the leather treatment kit to spray on the shoes? Tons of stores rely on that in brick and mortar as a staple in their bottom line every year. And there was no way to do that on Shopify at the time, so that's why we came up with the app. After two months, we finished. Steph designed it, we released it, we were all excited. We thought it was gonna be the best day of our lives. One guy installed it and left a negative review. <laughs> and that's how it started. And, and you know, it was a learning experience. We took it down. We, we pretty much rewrote what we had first developed and then we released it again and ever since we've been getting positive reviews. When Upsell was released, it was kind of like, hey, can we make a couple of hundred bucks a month on the side? After product discount was out, it was like, okay, how are we going to turn this into a, into a full-time gig? So Avic was the first one that quit his day job. Steph followed suit the next month. I quit, I worked in Steph's basement, we were three in there. When Jay quit, we couldn't fit in Steph's basement, so we moved into Jay's house. When we outgrew there, we found 1,500 square feet in a garage across the street in Milde Shane. Now we're in 3,000 square feet, a room where we invested a lot of money into finishing this place. A month after we moved here, we realized that we were going to outgrow this location, so we leased the old office as well. For the first 12 months, we were hiring a person or two a month. In the last three months, we've been hiring three to four people a month. We'll probably be 60 people by the end of the year. We definitely plan on doubling this again this year. When people ask, we're just always hiring. We have a full dedicated support team of eight people just helping out customers with, you know, installing the app, asking questions, pre-sales questions. You know, does it do this? Will it do that? We really do set a higher standard in terms of customer support and it reflects in our positive reviews. We counted just the other day and we have just over 2,000 positive reviews. Close to 3,000. Uh, almost 3,000 apparently and uh, only five or six negative reviews. So, must be doing something right. The fact that we actually offered support and not only support like three days later, but you're gonna get an email 45 minutes after you sent your request. You know, no one was expecting that and everybody was thrilled to actually get proper support for these apps. That's what it's all about in the end. If the customer's happy with the app, even if he's got a problem, if we're there to help him, we're still happy, right? We started out with product upsell, product discount, and store locator. From there, it grew and grew. We have 14 live now in the App Store, four in production as we speak, one in testing. Our goal actually for the next year is to release an app a month, and I think we're going to pass that. We currently have 10 of the top 30 of the Shopify apps in their marketplace out of uh, probably about, I don't know, six, 800. We've also adopted Google's philosophy of spending 20% of our time on new projects, including Pick to Spate, which we just released, which allows you to easily share high resolution photos, videos with a group of people. But it also allows you to easily accept files from a group of people in one place. Uh, it's a little more private sharing as well, so a perfect example would be a wedding. You can set up an event that's your wedding and just invite everyone and they can upload their own pictures and get them all in one place. 
When we first started the company, we all looked at each other and said, what kind of company do we want to have? And we all said, you know, we want to make this a place that we would want to work. We offer free daily lunches, we have beer on tap, arcades, foosball, video games. Uh, we don't have set work hours, it's flex hours, so they can come and go as they please, take their lunches and breaks as they please. Bottom line is we want to create a business where we want to wake up and we want to go every day. Um, it's, yeah, there's other bottom lines, but <laughs> that's a good bottom line, so to enjoy, to enjoy what you do. Amen, brother. Preach it! You preach it! <laughs>